All right, we're gonna get going and get the rest of this here cleaned up and everything. Kathy already started it. Like I said, she did get rid of that pot over there, I see. So that's gone because that stuff was invasive. That's the same stuff that's in the front. So uh, maybe we'll try the boiling water on the stuff up front. That's a good idea. All right, so we'll get out here and get this strip cleaned up and get this ready here. And then we'll probably take a couple hours and uh, there's still some boxes in front of the Bellagio community and some other stuff that's come in from the last two uh, rescues or so I've done. We're gonna go through that, separate it, get the stuff put away, keep the stuff we're putting, put the rest in the bus. Uh, we're gonna get working on leveling the cement so we can get the 2000 in place. Wow, there is a big, big tadpole right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Where'd he go now? He just disappeared. He was right over in there. He was huge. But anyways, we'll get that leveling uh, cement so that we can get the 2000 in place. Once the 2000 is in place, then we can go ahead and we can start uh, putting the tanks underneath the thing so we can have the sale. We want the sale by the third or fourth weekend of June. That's what we're shooting for, everybody. So keep those dates in mind, third, fourth weekend of June. All right, we're gonna go down there and start our thing, start doing our thing.
All right, that's just about one hour right there, so not bad. Uh, we're getting there. So, looks pretty good, actually. Didn't Wasn't in there as hard as I thought. And that'll be the tougher part, for sure. But I think we'll take a break, and then maybe uh, we'll go out front, maybe do some separating, and come back, get on our knees, and do some more. Stay tuned. Oh, the duck just landed, but all the koi were just sitting on top of that uh, back pond there. I could see them. I still can see quite a few. Uh, maybe we'll go back there later on, check it out. How you doing? Good. So Rich informed me you guys are from South Carolina? Yeah. And what'd you bring? Looks like an iridescent? Yep. Yeah. We brought two of them. This two is of them? This small one. Oh, where's the other one? Is uh, uh, in the back, in of, the the back of the truck. He's going to start draining some water out of the other container. Jerry is. Yeah. Okay, I'll give him a hand care. They're about yeah. 15 years old. Really? The other one's about twice, twice the size. size. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. And uh, how'd you hear about us then? I found you. Just I've been Google searching for actually a couple of years to try to find a new home for the fish. Wow. They've just been getting too big, and I don't know how you finally came up, but you did. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go help Jerry real quick. We'll get him in here and get him acclimated, and then you guys will give you a tour. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. We'll see what's up and give Jerry a hand. All right, Jerry's going to work on these and get these guys acclimated. Once they are, we'll get a video of them getting put into the quarantine tank. And then we'll give these guys a tour of Oil Park. Yeah. I never even got your names. I'm sorry. Uh, Bobby. And Cheryl. All right, if you want, we can go back. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. We can go to the back. Jerry should have them ready, and you guys can see them yeah, get we'll put into the quarantine tank. Okay. okay. Absolutely. All right. All right, and we'll go see Jerry then. Is a, have you seen the electrician out back? Yeah. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he he's working on it. All right, the electrician, he's got the thing run all the way over. As you can see, it goes all the way down. And then, like, you can see on that pole over there, there's a box, there's another box over there, another one in the end. So he's going to be putting the boxes in, so... I have electricity here pretty soon. And we move this over, it's leaking just a little, so we're losing water. I'm gonna see if that little board under there will be enough to make it stop leaking. And that took care of the problem. No more losing any water. All right. Renee, is that right? Ruth. Ruth, hey. Ruth. okay. I'm terrible with names, That's everybody okay. knows. It's really oh. love Ruth, but Ruth is good. <laughs> and you got a uh, hostess, huh? Yes, I do. Oh, no, okay. I'm donating to the Fish Rescue uh, Society. Um, this is a natural, uh, what do you call that? Give you um, oxygen and stuff for the plants <laughs> and the fish. <laughs> right, all right. And she's going to help us do some weeding. Yes. All right, so I'm going to get Ruth and Kathy and get them working. <laughs> I'm going to get a pot and we'll get this little hospice planted right away before we do anything else. Alright, Ruth is finishing putting that in. I got a little pot for it. We'll stick that right in the river. Let's stick the whole pot in the river. Uh huh. Get out of here. Yeah. You got all those elephant ears and everything in there? That's all we do is we just place them out here in the river. Right. I'm just going to get a pot of water and stick it in. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so, uh, actually, you can place that one. Place that one right there. Okay. And she'll soak up water and start doing good. Right. You see, we got the same kind over there. Sure do. <laughs> I don't even see the pot no more. No, I, I don't even know if it, it might be in a pot. Some of them we started taking out of pots, and once we figure out what we're doing, you know, so. But like, like things like this, that's a tree. We got to get rid of them trees and stuff. But right now, we're finishing the center section right now. We got from the tree to about there, as you see, but we got to get the second half. Okay, I'm So, gonna... all right, I'm going to set this. Oh, no, I'm not. I broke it. Well, it was broke, but I didn't broke it again. I got to fish the piece out. There it is. All right, Ruth put the plant down there, and we're going to finish trying to get the rest of this done. Okay. Okay, so you got to move 
I'm good. If I throw this far enough, can you grab it? Because you know I'm always on the edge of the pond. Good job. Hey. You see how tall those are? The flags right there, those yellow flags? That's uh, what these were, lilies. Look at them roots, though. Uh -huh. Rich just told me he wants them to stay. Are they staying? Uh, well, for now, but I'll talk to Josh. We got to, that's the same thing that was in the front pond that Bobby just took out. Josh you, wants it out. I, I, I do, too. Alright, as you see, they're working on the river again. We got uh, most of it taken care of. So, just trying to talk in a little mulch, man, that would do the trick. Alright, uh, we'll see. Kathy and Ruth are at the very end. They're doing that. While they're doing that, Jerry said the fish are ready to be put in their uh, quarantine tanks. The two iridescents that came in from North Carolina or South Carolina. So we'll go take care of them. And this is the littler of the two. I know. <laughs> Just a little water. Not too bad. Alrighty. Haven't filmed any of the tanks in a while. And I guess they're the blue one's guarding. See there's some eggs on that filter. They were hoping hoping to get some discus here in the next day or two. She or he is guarding them, so Everybody else is on this side of the tank. <laughs> uh, and TJ, you're a little son of a gun, aren't you? Huh? You little son of a gun. Yeah, he got me earlier today. But that's what happens. I've been bit by so many birds. My mom raised birds, so I'm used to it. But, yeah, when they see Schwarzenegger, and they brought in their iridescence, and then they seen the ones in the... Uh, uh, 58,000 they're like wow she's like yeah because they were thinking they were actually were thinking about buying a 1,000 gallon tank but then they're like what do we do after that <laughs> so they spent like a month looking at different places and they of course chose us and then they seen the iridescence in here and they're like yeah they can get pretty big and then like Brutus only three years old so all right, we'll go see how the girls are doing. They should be doing all right. 
All right, everybody, just a, <laughs> a day of weeding, but we got a lot of it done. And I was down there with uh, Ruth and uh, Kathy. I just, the, the film didn't record it. I, you know, it got turned off. I don't know what happened. But when we were down there and Ruth had her head, uh, legs hanging over the edge and this and that, <laughs> all of a sudden I'm like, uh, by the way, Ruth, uh, watch out for the snakes. Oh, I got her good. She jumped. <laughs> awesome. But she really likes the all fire. Uh, she's going to finish her community work and uh, continue uh, working there and helping out and volunteering. And she's she actually she's not a nurse. I forget exactly. She's working towards that. I forget what her status is. But she actually was able to watch uh, uh, Tracy for 15 minutes while Big Rich was able to come out and um, meet Bobby and Cherry uh, Cheryl uh, from. Uh, uh, South Carolina who brought in the two uh, iridescents but yeah we got a lot of things to get going and we got a lot of work to do and I just got a lot on my plate but we're gonna get it all done so you guys stay fishy my friends hit that like subscribe and share and we'll go deeper with the Reaper